Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another Spider-Man Effects video. This is your boy here, Mikey Wilson, AKA The Spider Dad. Okay, so how do you animate a Lego Spider-Man in Cinema 4D? Well, I'm gonna show you. Well, at this point, I'm gonna assume that you know a little bit about Cinema 4D and the ins and outs of uh, how to do the basic maneuvers within this program. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it straight away. We're gonna go to File, Merge Objects, select your OBJ file. So this is gonna be a Lego figure. And this is where we're going to select the size. 30 seems pretty good for me. I'm going to hit OK. And there we go. I'm just going to realign to see the, in the viewer there. And then we're going to select all of these layers, not the scene floor, but all these layers. And then we're going to group them together. So it's in one nice, smart, easy layer. Rename that Spider-Man. Extend that. And now we need to uh, add our textures. So we're going to make sure color is selected. We're going to go to the texture tab and then we're going to go to where our textures here where it says Lego Spider-Man head. Hit OK and we're going to select no on this application. Come out of that. Now we're going to go over to the rest of the body. So now we're going to do the left hand, select that area here, select the material and hit the red. Select no again. OK, we're good. And then we're going to do, I'm going to speed through this as you can see. And then we finally got our Spider-Man all textured up, ready to go for this animation. So at the moment, we need to uh, do a few things. So we're going to um, group a few layers so that we can actually tilt, move, and rotate um, certain parts of the body. So we're gonna select all these layers here that would you think would be part of the body section, not the legs, the body section. So all here. Okay, we're going to right click, we're going to group those and we're going to call this body. Okay, extend that. Okay, so now we have the body section and we're going to align the axis on this. So we're going to make sure that that's part of the point where it would need to rotate. Make sure all the axes are aligned. As you can see here, we'll switch off the alignment tool, rotate, and now we can rotate the top half of the body. Go back to the full screen. Okay, so now we need to do the, the arms, okay? Currently the arms aren't um, aligned properly, so we need to group those first. So basically left hand and left arm will need to be grouped. So we're gonna right click there, group that object, and name this left arm. And we're gonna do the same for the right hand and right arm as well. Group those layers, rename right arm. Okay, so now we can align the axis so that it rotates correctly. So let's select the axis tool there and move the axis point to the shoulder section of the arm. Just like this. Okay, do take your time, make sure it's all aligned up correctly. And on the right view, just make sure that that's in the center. And then that's fine. Perfect. Back to the full view. If we rotate, now we have a good rotating arm. We just need to do the same for the right arm now. Sorry, the left arm. And we can now rotate that as well. As you can see there. Perfect. Okay. So we can now rotate the body. Well, now we need to do the legs. So as you can see, they're not done. So we need to align those. Position though, so you can see where the point is there. And now we need to align the axis, so let's position those. Now these, as you can see here on the right viewer, is slightly off center, but you'll see why in a moment. There's actually a leg bar that goes in the middle of the Lego figure, and you'll see that in a moment. Do the same for the right leg. And here's the leg bar I was on about. So there you can see in the center, we need to centralize the axis there right in the middle and you can actually use this as a good central point for the actual axis and just fine tune the axis on the right leg and the left leg to match 
position of the leg bar. Cool. So now we can rotate the legs both left and right. Okay. So we've got the body, we've got the arms, and we've got the legs. Perfect. So now we prep that, animating is going to be so much more easier. Okay, so here we have the keyframe selection. Make sure on the first keyframe, I'm going to select that. And as you can see here, we have a keyframe there. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to rotate the leg. So we're going to actually make him look like he's running now. So we're going to rotate the leg into a nice, into a decent starting position. Just have the leg going upwards for starters. Hit the keyframe. Very important that you hit the keyframe in any movement you do. It kind of saves that position. So then we're going to go up to say 10 frames. We're going to rotate it backwards. Hit the keyframe. Go another 10 frames. Forwards, and I'm going to speed through this, and you'll you'll get the idea. All the way to the very end. And finishing as we were. So as you can see now, we have a nice smooth running action on one leg. Now we need to do the right leg. So we do exactly the same. Moving 10 frames in. Each time, perfect. Okay, so go to the bottom, if we play that, now we have a, what seems to be some running. Now we need to smooth that running technique. Okay, this is quite important. We're going to right click, we're going to select both. So shift, and select both, right click, and go to F curve. And this is where you can see all the alignments of how smooth the movements are. So as you can see, some of the areas need to be adjusted. And you can do this very simply in this section here. So you can adjust there, making sure everything's nice and tidy. At the same time, widening these areas here, which will actually smooth the motion of the running. So I'm going to speed through that. But you get the idea. Okay, nice and tidy. Cool. Okay, so if we look at that now, it's just a little bit more smoother for a running technique. Now we need to do the same for the arm. It's exactly the same. Left arm, select the first key frame move it to the back position. Now remember, it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Move 10 frames, hit a keyframe. Position the arm there, keyframe. And I'll speed through this, it's exactly the same principle. Just remember, opposite arm, opposite leg, as you would as if you're running. Perfect, save what you've got. Important to save, you don't want to lose it. We select both right and left arm again go to show F curves and again nice and tidy just tidying up the curves smoothing off and now we have a nice smooth running action good so we're getting somewhere now we need to actually move spider-man so we're gonna select the spider-man get rid of the others for a minute I'm gonna select spider-man and then we're going to position him further back First keyframe, hit the keyframe. It's our first position. I'm going to bring him forwards. And we're going to move that to the end of the frame first. Come forwards to our end position and hit a keyframe. And now it's starting to look a little bit more like a running movement. By no means is that perfect. <laughs> I'm actually going to move him back a little bit. I think he's actually needs a bit more. Hit the keyframe. Remember to hit the keyframe on any movements you do. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, um, now we're gonna make the movements of him going up and down on the running, so it's a bit more believable. Hit the keyframe, and as he hits the floor, he needs to have his feet showing the floor on the scene floor tab. Oh, hang on, uh, let's extend the scene floor so that you can actually see the floor on the Z axis. And now, down, we can bring the axis down, and there we go. You can see he's now touching the floor perfectly. Hit a keyframe again. Scroll up to the point where he's striding at the, at the peak of his stride. 
there. Hit a keyframe. Uh, sorry, let's move him up rather. Hit a keyframe. And then move him across again to the point where he's got his feet on the floor. Put him down so he's touching the floor. And then hit a keyframe. And then we do that exactly the way, all the way through to the very end of the clip. And now we have a much more believable running technique. So we now start to see that it's actually taking shape. Okay, so select Spider-Man, hit the show F curves, and we're now going to smoothen and tidy up those keyframes. As you can see, we need to tidy these up quite a bit. This is where we can perfect and fine tune each of the keyframes and actually smoothen the running. So I could go through nice and quick as we did before. Nice. So now looking really, really good. Happy with that. Okay, so now we're going to select the body section, not the Spider Man, the body section, because we want to do that side to side sway when you're kind of doing a running. That's what's gonna make it even more believable. So as we do that, we can now rotate with that. So on the body tab, select the rotation tool, rotate. It's on the first keyframe, make sure we're hitting the keyframes. Go to another 10. Go to the other side. Remembering to hit the keyframe after adjusting the rotation on each side. Keyframe, move another 10 frames, swing to the other side, and as ever, speed through this all the way to the end of the frame. So if we now check that back, you can see a very subtle sway which makes the run even more believable. But as ever, what we're going to do, hit, spider, uh, hit the body section and then go to show F curves tidy up the keyframes and you can also adjust these so that you can actually make the sway even more noticeable so let's just speed through that as ever okay. and there we have it there we have it a decent run from spider-man don't forget to save your project so that's looking pretty good i hope that helped as ever, you can experiment even further. You can start adding lighting and shadows and ambient inclusions. But as ever, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.